Yo, what is up, guys? I'm gonna show you guys how to make a custom resolution on HNZ1. I'm sick, I just woke up, but I just wanna make this video get out of the way. Alright, so this only works for NVIDIA. I don't know how to do it for AMD, but uh, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to open your Steam, King of the Kill, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, User Options. Alright, if you don't get your user options, you're an idiot. Alright. Whatever customers you want to use, you're going to put it in your full screen mode if you're playing full screen, your windowed mode if you're playing windowed. Um, a lot of people are probably going to be using this res that I'm using because it's probably one of the really good custom reses. Um, but what you want to do is just put in 1600 by 1080 because that's what I'm using. Easy. Save it, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Now this is where people get, you know, confused and they don't know what to do because they're retarded. But um, go to your resolution, change resolution, um, and you click customize resolution. Make sure you're in the monitor that you're gaming on. Um, create custom resolution, and then you just add 1600 by 1080. I already have it added. Um, it won't let me create a custom resolution because I have my capture card plugged in because this capture card is weird and won't let me make custom resolutions. So if there's anything like in your way, um, you got to make sure like you have nothing plugged in or something stupid that will make you not be able to use it. But where is it? Right here, 600 by 1080, I already have it in my computer, create a custom res. Um, your desktop's going to look like AIDS. Yes, you only got to do this for one game. It's really not... It's only not that bad, okay? Just one. We well, just gotta get your game. You just gotta get H one Z one to recognize the shitty resolution. Um, I don't know if this matters. I'm pretty sure this matters though. Override the scaling set mode by games and programs. I have this set on full screen. Uh, I don't think this really matters that much. Set to full screen. Override the scaling mode. Just have that checked. Um, and then just hit apply. You should be good and launch your game. You're going to have black bars in the lobby, so just... Who cares about that? When you get in the game, it's going to be looking fine. So screw it. It does take a while to alt-tab out on this resolution. There is some downsides to it, but the reason I use it is... Uh, <coughs> players are easier to see and hit. And I get better frames, so... It's the reason I use this res. I don't really have frame problems, but it's the highest resolution stretched res, I believe. You're gonna have black bars, like I said, but your game should be good. Um, all you gotta do now is put your resolution back to um, 19 or whatever you're using your desktop resolution before. Because you don't want your desktop looking like shit when you're like just playing, doing whatever, browsing, other, anything other than H1 pretty much. So just set it back after your game is good and it's not weird and shit like, you know, I don't know. There's some people get like, I don't know, if you don't do that, like some people get like a weird fucking reticle to the side and like blue bars and shit, I don't know. But that's pretty much it. Yeah, well, there's the shittiest tutorial I've ever made in my entire life. I hope you guys enjoyed. Those of you that don't understand how to do it, there you go. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, come to my Twitch and watch me, and uh, that's about it. Set your desktop resolution back to normal after your game is perfectly fine and working well. And that's pretty much it. All you gotta do is just put in your user options and put in your NVIDIA custom resolution over sky override the scaling bullshit and you're good hell yeah I'm gonna switch this back and then I'm out see you guys on twitch